Hi everyone! Well today I'm going to do a take six from my bucket of prompts. So I'm going to take six of these sticks from my bucket. So let's begin. So firstly I'm going to add some torn paper and I'm going to use some acrylic paint. I'm also going to use a vintage theme. I'm going to add the colour pink. I'm going to add mosaic with shapes. And last but not least, I'm going to add paint with a credit card. So I've got my comprehensive car insurance product disclosure statement here from Amy um, that's kindly sent this um, so I can use it as an art journal. Thanks Amy! Um, the pages are a little bit thin but I can cope with that so to prepare my pages I've added some masking tape down the middle here just to add some stability to uh, the page because I don't want any pages falling out. So firstly I'm going to prep my page uh, and just putting on a coat of gesso. first prompts I'm going to use are these two, I'm going to use the colour pink and I'm going to use the uh, acrylic paint prompt. So I'm going to use Semco Cherry Blossom and Semco Fun Fuchsia here. So firstly I'm going to put down a colour of Cherry Blossom. I'm going to make sure that this page is dry before I proceed to my next step. I've got my Kayser Craft clear stamp in the script and I've got the Semco uh, Fun Fusia which I'm actually going to use this paint to stamp uh, my script down onto. So I'm just randomly stamping all over my page. If you do use your clear stamps just be sure to clean them thoroughly. I'm also using Semco Brown acrylic paint just to add some paint splatters to my page. Then I'm just going to dry it off thoroughly. So my next prompt I'm going to use is I'm going to add some torn paper to my page. So I've got some Kaiser Craft Old World paper here. Um, it's a very nice vintage uh, sort of looking paper so I'm going to tear this up for my page. Now I have this Memento Dewdrop Tuxedo Black ink here and I'm just going to use it just to get rid of that white area on the edge of the paper here and to give it that old vintagey look. So before I put my torn paper down I'm going to add some paint with an um, old card using some brown Semco paint here and I'm just going to randomly use the store card just all over just to make line marks all over the page. all dry I'm going to add my torn pa uh, paper to the page here using my gel medium and I'm just going to randomly stick these down on the page. Once I've stuck them all down, then I'll just give it a blast with the heat gun just to dry that off. It's 
card, it's a craft paper here, and I'm going to add these um, strips to the page, just a bit like a brick look about it, uh, just on both sides of the page, uh, page here. And this will be my prompt for adding mosaic shapes to the page. And I'll make sure it's dry with the heat gun. prompt is to add a vintage theme. So I've got some vintage ephemera here that I've had in my stash for ages that I'm going to use. And I'm also going to use my Fiber Castell Pit Artist Brush in Nougat all around those bricks there. So this will give um, a feeling of vintage coming to my page. I also have these photos here that I'm going to distress around the edge and I'm also going to mount them on some brown cardstock as well. So before I mount my photos uh, on the page, I'm going to just stick down these uh, vintage ephemera um, tags all over the page. So I've just used my Tim Holtz ideology stapler just to staple some tickets and ephemera together. I'm just going to distress my uh, brown matte board here that I'm going to put the pictures on just around the edge just to give it that worn look. So I've got some Memento Dew Drop Rich Cocoa here and I'm just going to go around the outside of my vintage photos here before mounting them onto the cardstock. Going to go around the outside of the brown cardstock with the Memento Tuxedo Black just to give it once again that worn look. I'm going to mount these photos on the brown cardstock just with some foam tape just to give it a bit of dimension. And I'll do that with the other photo as well. So I'm just going to add some quick dry adhesive to uh, the photos just to glue them down onto my page. So I'll just trim up around the edges uh, of those torn pages there. I'm just going to go around the border just with my uh, Faber Castell pit brush uh, in Nougat just to give it a bit of shading around the edges there. So I'm going to add a quote on using my favourite uh, technique and that is printing on tissue paper. So firstly I'll just stick some tissue paper down. Um, when I do run it through the printer, I do tend to dry it off just to make sure that that ink in on the tissue paper is dry. So I'll just cut that away and what I'll do is then I'll use some Mod Podge to glue it down onto some pink cardstock here. So I'm just going to distress the edge of my quote and I'm also going to mount it on some brown cardstock just like I have with the vintage photos. I'm 
going to mount that onto my page just using some foam tape also. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've loved creating this Take 6 page. I'd love to read your comments on what you think of my page today. Also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell where you'll um, see new releases of my videos. Don't forget to share my video and give me your thumbs up. Until next time everybody, happy crafting! See ya!